the Buffalo Bills pregame show against the Miami Dolphins in week 15. All right, uh, Randy's here this week. Um, Jared filling in for, him, um, for the, the main show. All right, so top story, uh, battle for fourth place. Honestly, I kind of hope they uh, they lose so we can get a better draft pick. Nikia, what do you think? Um, I picked them 7-9 at the beginning of the season, so I have to pick them to win this one because the, the last two I don't think they have a chance to do so. I think they might actually be able to beat out the Dolphins in this game because they're coming up here. It's supposed to be really cold. I'm hoping it doesn't rain, but if it's really cold, I think we can freeze some fish this weekend. <laughs> All right. Um, Jared, um, you mentioned, uh, you know, we know Tony Sperano was fired. Um, you, you think maybe chance next? or I, I don't think it's going to happen, but I think you really got to look at it. And I know you guys brought up before we started shooting 15 players on IR. And we probably were doing a lot better if that wasn't the case. And I've seen some good, good game plans from Chan Gailey, but I gotta look at the records. I mean, with Dick Duran seven and nine, and believe it or not, that season where he got fired, week fifteen we were still in the playoffs, and this year's week fourteen was when we were eliminated. So I'm just saying, the last two years have been worse than the first four with Dick Duran. So you just gotta take a look at that. I mean, that's that's a fact. It's just something to think about. All right, Jared, you had mentioned um, the strategy for winning is um, uh, running the ball. Do you think Spiller can carry the team this week? Unfortunately, no. We do got to run the ball. Uh, if you looked at last game with Philly, that's what they did. Sean McCoy tore it up, and that's why they dominated. But the problem is we don't have the defense. We'll get into that later. We don't have the defense to do what Philly did because they have a pretty decent defense. And we don't have the power running back like Philly does. Spiller, I think, will do okay. I'm thinking maybe 50, 60 yards. But I don't see... I don't see them doing it. I don't. Alright, uh, Nakia, uh, last time we played the Dolphins, they, they pressured Fitz, uh, Fitz a lot. So what do you think? Do um, you think they'll do the same thing this next game? I mean, it worked for them before, so I would assume that they would continue to do it. We probably had a completely different line the last time we played them, so it'll be interesting to see how this version of our line matches up with their defense. We haven't given up a lot of sacks, so that's a good thing. But, you know, even though they haven't really sacked them, they, people have still gotten to them. So I think we have to kind of... So how do you think we stop playing the offense then? How do we... How does the... What do you mean? Um, how do we... How do, like, how do the Bills stop the Miami offense? How do the Bills stop the Miami offense? Yeah. Um. It's like, really, like... How do we do it? Actually, stopping Miami, I don't think is that hard. I mean, Reggie Bush is probably there. You got Reggie Bush and Brandon Marshall. To me, the only two people you really have to worry about on their offense. And I think if you can get those two in together, I mean, like you said, Marcel Darius and Nick Barnett have had a pretty decent season. So if the two of them can get it together, That's what I want to see. then I think we have a pretty good chance of stopping those who play in our secondary, unfortunately, is kind of, you know, shot. So I'm thinking they're going to have to, you know, stop Reggie Bush and kind of, you know, hope for the best with the secondary. You know, mentioned the, she mentioned the secondary, and um, we now don't trust any of our cornerbacks, I guess. Yeah. So we have Justin Rogers in there now. Yeah. And injuries, uh, too, also led to that. So, um, do they attack Justin Rogers, our seventh round rookie or whatever? Yeah, I mean, I think we, ha I think the Dolphins have to in this case. I mean, Matt Moore is probably going to be looking at Brian Hartline and Devon Best most of the game. I mean, because actually we've done a pretty good job handling Brandon Marshall in both games. So they'll probably be looking at their third or, or second receiver, which in this case Justin Rogers is going to be covering. Now, I'm going to be surprised if we see our other, I mean, maybe, maybe McCullough will come off the fifth string. I don't know what's going on with him. But, like... I, I think they're going to attack him and just try to pickpocket us. And I just want to see a lot of Marcel Darius and Nick Arvetta. That's all I want to freaking see. I mean, I met uh, Marcel Darius a little over the week, or uh, two games ago. He kind of passed me in his car and said hi, but I'm just infatuated with him now. Um, from what I've seen on the field, he's a beast. He's one of the only bright spots in Buffalo sports today, honestly. Sabres and Bills. And um, it's just... I think they need to get another draft pick just like him. Um, like that's why I kind of want to see him lose so we can get a player that's as impact that has an impact and that's going to have an impact like this the next you know the whole extent of his contract even after that. I know we have to sign him, so um, that's got to happen. 
All right, so the topic of assessment um, is George Edwards to blame for the defense's uh, poor output. Uh, Kia, what do you say? Um, I don't really think so because I think when we had our whole entire defense, we were doing pretty good. So, I mean, like the two games that we lost before everybody started falling off, we lost them. We, the other teams didn't win them. It was, it was kind of on us to win those games. Um, so, I honestly don't really think it's on him because when we were at full strength, we were doing what we were supposed to do. We had little, you know, hiccups here and there, but I wouldn't put it solely on him. All right, uh, Jared, let me just do a counterpoint right here then. Um, they've had lopsided losses. Oh, yeah. A lot more than last season. Um, and could you blend that on George Edwards? George Edwards? I, Maybe, yeah. but I mean, what's I got to disagree, Nikki. I really. Because I'm looking at those games where we had good defense, and it was against the Chiefs and against the the Redskins. Now, when we played the Chiefs, we were playing against an injured Matt Castle. They did nothing on on um, on offense that game. And then you look at the Washington game, Johnny Beck. Johnny Beck was horrible. I just I look at that and I'm thinking like George Edwards did okay when we were playing against really crappy offenses. So anyone could have stepped in there and done it. So. I think that needs to be changed. I really think there needs to be a stronger defensive mind. And I think that's part of it. I think it's mental. I think they figured George Edwards out, honestly. Yeah. You know, they were giving up a bunch of yards in the Patriots game, and the reason they won that was the turnovers. Um, and you, make, you could say that was maybe a result of us having all of our cornerbacks in and, uh, and all of our defensive players. Um, but honestly, I think George Edwards is out the door, so I'm not. I disagree, though. All right. Um, and now it's uh, <laughs> now let's do a um, a worst of the bill segment from Randy. After last week's catastrophe, it is not a joy to do worse than the Bills. I searched up and down all the record books, and I could not find a team that I would deem worse than this franchise here in Buffalo. So I searched my memory banks, remembered back in 1996 when I played on the Eden North Collins Little Loop Bears, a team that went 0-10 and managed to score two touchdowns the entire season. That means we averaged 1.4 points a game. Not only did we lose, we were humiliated time and time again, and we all learned a lot of lessons about good sportsmanship. So, my fellow teammates on the 1996 Eden North Collins Little Loop Bears, we are the only team that I can think of that could possibly be worse than the Bears. And now it's time for the keys of the game. Um, my key to the game is honestly score more points than the Dolphins because honestly we've been getting blown out and I don't think we can stop other teams. So if we can get some points on the board, get the Ralph fired up, maybe we get a chance. Uh, Nikia, what do you think? I'm with you on that one, but in, in the same line, I think C.H. Miller has to prove himself. He's a first round draft pick and when you're playing against a defense that's okay and not that great, then you have to take advantage of them. So I think the key is going to be CJ finally stepping up and showing that he's worth the first round draft pick. All right, Jerry, what's your key? Uh, my key is sacking the quarterback. Uh, we got to see your favorite player in the whole wide world, Marcel Darius and Nick Barnett, get through that offensive line of the Dolphins and just disrupt Matt Moore. If you disrupt Matt Moore, they're going to not have a passing game. They're going to rely on Reggie Bush, and that's not going to get it done either. Disrupt Matt Moore. We win the game. All right, now front time for the picks of the game. Uh, my pick to the game is uh, Bills lose a close one, 23-20. What's yours? I have them winning a close one, 27-24. All right, and what's yours? I'm going with a W as well. This will be the last one of the year, but we're going to get it. It's going to be 20-17. to All right, uh, see you next week for uh, Tebow time slash uh, Lord, Lord and Savior.